Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about complete graphs. To understand a complete graph in the context of graph theory, we're going to think about a common problem that you may have heard before. It's the handshake problem. It says, if there are six strangers in a room, how many introductions are necessary? So we want everybody to meet each other. How many introductions have to occur? So the way we're going to approach this problem is I have six dots. These are going to be vertices in our graph, and each one represents one of the people in the room. And we're going to start by counting how many introductions person A has to be participating in. So we know that person A has to meet person B and person C and person D and person E and person F. Now, once person A has met everyone, which it looks like took one, two, three, four, five introductions, we're gonna move on to person B. Now, of course, when we count the introductions for person B, we no longer have to include A because person B has already met person A. So person B has to meet person C, D, E, and F. So that's four introductions for person B. And we're gonna continue in this way. So person C still needs to meet persons D, E, and F. So that's three more introductions. Person D still needs to meet E and F. So that's two introductions. And finally, person E just needs to meet person F and everyone has met. So that was just one more introduction. So the total number of introductions is going to be five plus four is nine, plus three is 12, plus two is 14, plus one is 15 introductions. This is an example of a complete graph. A complete graph is a graph in which each pair of vertices is joined by an edge. There's another way we can say that as well. Remember, when two vertices are joined by an edge, we call them adjacent. So we could also say that a complete graph is a graph in which every pair of vertices is adjacent. So now that we know what a complete graph is, let's see if we can work this example. It says identify the complete graph, and we have three graphs to choose from. Graph A, graph B, and graph C. So in looking at graph A, do you notice a pair of vertices that are not connected by an edge, that are not adjacent? If you said G and H, you're right. They're missing an edge between them, so graph A is definitely not complete. Now let's look at graph B. We could go pair by pair and look through the vertices I, J, K, and L to see if each of the vertices is joined to each of the other vertices. That would be one way to approach the problem. Another way to approach the problem would be to make an observation that there are four vertices. And the reason that that's important is because each one of the vertices has to be connected to three other vertices. So notice that vertex I is connected to J, L, and K. In other words, vertex I has degree three. Let's check the other vertices. Let's look at vertex K. Vertex K is also connected to three other vertices, J, L, and I. It has degree three. Similarly for vertex L and for vertex J. So that's another indication that this graph B is a complete graph. Now let's look at graph C. Notice that even though there are four vertices again, vertex N only has degree two, so it can't possibly be a complete graph. So to summarize, a complete graph is a graph in which every pair of vertices is adjacent. In other words, each pair is joined by an edge. And to check for completeness, we can check pair by pair to confirm each vertex is adjacent to each of the other vertices, or we can confirm that the degree of each vertex is one less than the number of vertices. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to my channel, Miss Earned Mathematics, for more math videos.